Speaking and enjoying the great weather, unfortunately, those looking for fun on two wheels might feel limited in Terre Haute. But park officials want to change that with a state-of-the-art facility. News 10's Michael Klaus talked with those behind the push. He gives you a sneak peek of the potential location. When you picture world-class biking, chances are you don't think of the Wabash Valley. In your defense, there aren't obstacles like this for miles. But that could change. We're just thinking really big. For now, these are pictures in a pamphlet, but soon there could be photos taken here. In the Vigo County Parks Department, we have approximately 30 miles of trails, systems, and the only portion of that trail that you can ride a bike on is in the Wabashiki State Fish and Wildlife Area. Kara Kish says the Parks Department's interest in building a biking facility actually matched up perfectly with that of a local family, one looking to build a similar area to honor their son. It's a collaborative effort between our department and the family of Dale Griffin, who was a veteran who passed away in Afghanistan. The Vigo County Parks Department was already interested in building a mountain bike trail, and then we, we met this family, and it just seemed like the perfect pairing. Not only will this pedal-driven playground be put to use by local people, the department expects it to draw in riders from across the nation, maybe even beyond. While progress is steady, the path is just being paved. They're still about two years out from even breaking ground. But the gears are turning, all leading up to what will hopefully be an enjoyable ride. If there are a thousand steps, we are about one or two right now. We want to make sure that if we do it, we do it right. In Terre Haute, Michael Klaus, News 10. Really cool idea there. Well, the Parks Department will be holding monthly meetings about this new facility. They're going to be providing updates at those meetings. They are, of course, open to the public.